Good fellow viewers, welcome back to Easy Mathematics. So thank God today is Friday. And it's been a long time we are uploading videos because we went for mid-semester. So we are back from the mid-semester break. And today we want to look at capacity, mass, time and money. But today in particular we want to look at addition and subtraction of capacity. One who asks, what is a capacity? A capacity simply means the amount of substance that a container can hold. So the amount that a container can hold is its capacity. Good. Capacity itself is measured in a unit or in a metric unit which is liters for huge values or huge containers and in milliliters for small containers. So let's look at the addition and subtraction of capacity. So let's say if I'm to add, so let's start with the addition. If I'm to add, let's say, 8 liters, 350 milliliters to 2 liters, 420 milliliters. How can I add these two? Now, if you are adding, you have to make sure that all the liters or all the numbers having liters should be under liters and all milliliters under milliliters. So I will say this is my liters and this is my milliliters. The first one, I have eight liters, so my eight will be recorded here. And then milliliters, I have 350. So this will be 350. And when you go to the second one, we have two liters, 420 milliliters. So because the two is liters, it will come here. Then the milliliters is 200, uh, 420. So this is how we are going to arrange it. I'm adding, so I'm to bring my plus. Now the addition of this one is the same as the normal addition that we know. But we should know that in terms of liters, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Good. So if I'm adding the normal addition that we know, zero plus zero will give us zero. Five plus two will give us seven. Three plus four, will give us 7 and 8 plus 2 will also give us 10. So this is the addition of capacity. It's just like the normal, uh, the normal addition and subtraction. But what differentiates between it is the unit, which is liters for huge amount and milliliters for small amount. So this is the addition of capacity. Let's look at the second one. Let's say we have 8, then for the milliliters we have 380, plus of 3, then 5, 3. We are adding. Now since I am adding, I know how to add. So this plus this will give me 3. 8 plus 5 will give me 13. But what do I do? We record the three, then we remember the next. We will give the remainder to the next number. So three plus three will give me six. Plus the remainder one will be seven. Then what do I do? Add your liters. Eight plus three will give you 11. And this becomes the answer for this one. So when it comes to the capacity, addition of capacity, it is the normal addition that we do. The normal addition, you borrow, uh, you, you take the remainder to the next number and you do it as easy as that. Now let's look at the third one. It's saying that add 8 liters, 300 milliliters, and 2 liters, 28 milliliters. We are adding. 
So if you are adding, what do you do? Let all those with the, with the liters be at one side. Milliliters also at one side. So I have my liters, I have my milliliters. So the first one here, I have eight. Eight milliliters, milliliters is 300. I have two. And eight liters, milliliters is 28. So I have it this way. What am I doing? I am adding. So you have to bring the addition sign to show that you are adding. So I'll do my normal addition. There is no number here, so zero. Eight plus zero or zero plus eight is eight. Zero plus two is two. Three plus zero will give me three. And eight plus two will give me 10. And this is the addition of capacity. Let's look at the last one for addition. It says, add 381 milliliters and 4 liters, 840 milliliters. We are adding. Remember that you should group all liters on one side or milliliters on the other side. So this will give me liters, milliliters. Now with the first one, I have 381 milliliters. Do I have liters for that one? No. So it means the liters for this one is zero. And the milliliters is 381. When you come here, I have the liters as what? Four. And eight milliliters as 840. What am I doing? I am adding. So I'll put these two figures together. Milliliters on one side, liters on the other side. You are adding. So one plus zero is one. Eight plus four will give us four. But what do you do? Record two, then remember one. Three plus eight will give us 11. Plus the remember will give us four. Remember that we can write all the four, therefore we write two. And we'll carry one here. Now remember that I told you that 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter. So here, the one here is 1,000. But when it comes to the liters, it becomes one. So now I have zero plus four. It's four. Plus the remainder one will give me five. So this is the addition of capacity. It is the normal addition that we do in class one, class two, class three. And when it comes to the subtraction, it is also the same. Nothing changes. So let's look at the subtraction of capacity. Now let's say we have five, eight liters, 420 milliliters minus four liters, 830 milliliters. We are subtracting, so what do we do? Group liters and the liters, milliliters and the milliliters. So the liters here is eight, and the milliliters here is 420. When you come here to the liters is four. Milliliters is 830. I am subtracting. So we have to write a sign to show that we are subtracting. So now, the normal subtraction that we know, zero minus zero will give us zero. Now, two minus three, is it possible? No. What do we do? We borrow one from the three, sorry, from the four, and this becomes three, and this gives us 12. Now 12, if I take away three, I'm left with what? Nine. Now the number here is no longer four, but therefore three. Now when we borrow the one, we are borrowing thousand, not one. But because we are using the normal method in subtraction, that's why we say one. Now I have three here, so three minus eight. This is not possible, so what do I do? 
I'll go and borrow from the leaders. And if I borrow one from the leaders, when it comes to the millimeters, it becomes thousand. But we write one. So if I borrow one from this one, it becomes 13. So 13 minus 8, what will it give us? It's going to give us 5. If you have 13 and you take away 8, we are going to love with 5. Now, the 8 here is no longer 8 because I have borrowed 1. And therefore, I'm left with 7. So 7 minus 4 is going to give me 3. So what differentiate between this and the normal calculation is the unit. With this one, we are using units. So we have to write uh, the liters and the milliliters. If we don't bring the liters and the milliliters, then it means we, don't, we are not show, uh, solving for capacity. Therefore, we are solving for normal addition or subtraction of numbers. So when it comes to the capacity, what shows that we are dealing with capacity is the metric unit, what is liters for huge values or containers and milliliters for small containers. Now with the subtraction, let's take last one for the subtraction. Let's say find the difference between Eight, okay, let's say 18 liters, 800 milliliters, and 2 liters, 670 milliliters. Find a difference between. Now, when you see difference, what that difference means? Difference is the same as subtraction. So find a difference between 18 liters. 800 milliliters and 2 liters, 670 liters. So what do you do? You have to subtract liters and liters and milliliters and milliliters. So the liters here, I have 18. And the milliliters, I have 800. Liters here, I have 2. And the milliliters here, I have 670. So six, seven, zero. What am I doing? I am subtracting. So you have to be very, very distant so that you do it the same thing. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus seven, is it possible? No, you borrow. So this becomes seven, this becomes 10. 10 minus seven is three. Now this is seven minus six, give us one. Then you go to the liters. 8 minus 2 is 6. Then 0 is here. 1 minus 0 gives me 1. And this becomes the solution for subtraction of capacity. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the addition and subtraction of liters. And remember, capacity is simply the amount of substance that a, a container can hold. When we meet again, God will next week, We'll look at the addition and subtraction of mass and probably time. Thank you for staying tuned. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as Easy Mathematics and Instagram as Easy Mathematics 63. God bless you. Hit the subscription button for more videos. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye.